We are recording. Are we then? Are you <laughs> sure, Mr. Producer? <laughs> yes. The actual step one. And the, I need to look at this. <laughs> I need to look at you. <laughs> talking to you. <laughs> As you can see, my wife has found her way into my video today. So her take on fear and emotion and trading is interesting because whether we like it or not as traders our emotional state bleeds into our relationships and it can be difficult right so today i want to give you guys five aspects or tips that i've come up with over the last 18 years of my trading uh, to help you on your journey of becoming a profitable trader and my wife's take is interesting because it's all geared towards how she has seen my emotions over the last 18 years during this whole entire journey Lowering your risk is at the top of my list because that is going to single-handedly be the most important thing at lowering your anxiety and stress and fear within your trading. Because if you're losing less money, that means you're not going to have as much stress, right? Uh, but this is easier said than done because the majority of influencers on YouTube, Google, uh, Instagram are showing you that 100% profit in a few days, a week, even a month is something that's possible when that is just them trying to make a sale off of you and you're gonna blow your account and you're going to live a very stressful trading life. So you have to practice the idea of lowering your risk and understanding the reality behind three to maybe 5% is all you should be trying to, to profit in the market. Because if you try for more than that, that means you're risking too much and your chances of losses increase a lot. Uh, so try to understand where the reality is in trading and what's actually attainable over the long term. So I wanted to give you guys an example of lowering your risk in trading to minimize fear and emotion. So on October 20th in my Discord group, which is free to join, I made an announcement saying that I'm lowering my risk in anticipation for the recession. Uh, so I've done that on all of my accounts that you can see right here. They're all profiting, uh, but lowering your risk is an important thing to do in times of market stress. The actual step one, unload all of your fears and irrational emotions for three to six hours on an already exhausted partner. That's a long time, bro. I don't, do I really do it six hours? Yeah. <laughs> Automation and auto trading are really important. I would have quit trading years ago if I didn't find a way of automating my trading systems uh, so I could basically sleep. You'll see that the majority of profitable full-time traders that have 10, 15, 20 years of experience, the majority of them have automated their trading system from 30 to, to 100%. Um, and it's because the markets are open 24 five. We have to find a way to live lives so we're not constantly babysitting our trades. <laughs> step two, repeat step one. <laughs> Backtesting is massively overlooked by the majority of traders. Most think that three years of backtesting is enough, and you'll find out that the market goes through so many different phases. It's constantly changing and evolving. You need as much data as possible. So 10 plus years is a minimum in my eyes. And the problem is, is that the majority of strategies are not capable of profiting longer than 10 years uh, because of all those market phases that happen. Uh, so it's difficult to build a strategy that is capable of long-term profit of 10, 15, 20 years in backtest data. Uh, because if it's not, your chances of surviving or being a profitable trader are really low. Step three, neglect all household chores, responsibilities, stresses, cleaning specifically, <laughs> as you descend into tunnel vision. I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> Finding a good community as a trader is really important. Uh, it's easier said than done because a lot of the communities out there are expensive. Uh, they're not very helpful. They're aggressive or vulgar. Um, I've been really fortunate to build a, a sizable community um, at Responsible Forex Trading. And you can see this is what the Discord looks like. It's free to join. Uh, just You can see the link below the description of this video. Um, and there's multiple channels over here on the side uh, for the algorithms that you're using. Uh, you can just chat with members, ask questions. I'm here pretty much every single day. 
uh, giving advice on trading and also giving uh, trading tips on potential entries and exits as well. Step four. Repeat step one. Unload all of your fears and irrational emotions for three to six hours on an already exhausted partner. <laughs> That's right. We got to do this three times. Oh, geez. So 12 hours? Sometimes oh. worry, you bastard. <laughs> and our final step, my personal favorite, step five. Come out of your goddamn rabbit hole after your trade closes and buy that partner a very expensive gift. She's earned it. I can't, I can't do that enough, apparently. Yeah, more. <laughs> more. So um, I think that I took a little bit too long to figure this one out. I should have been buying Tara shit like 20 years ago. <laughs> so I'm glad that I have figured that part out because, yeah, I agree with her, you know. Buying your partner a gift every once in a while just to basically say thank you for dealing with my trading shit. Uh, because it, at least acknowledging to them that thank you for being there. Thank you for handling all of my stresses, for working through this with me. Uh, because it can be difficult. And, you know, Tara's been there for 14 years of my 18 years of trading. Um, and she's been great in understanding uh, and pushing through this with me. But let me tell you, there's been tough times. There's been really tough times and it's because we're dealing with money and that not only affects your emotions, but it also affects your finances. So that can really be a challenge if your partner is not on the same page. But you gotta be aware, don't piss them off. Like don't constantly be talking about trading because that also can be really <laughs> trying on the, on the relationship. Try to do other things, you know, watch other shows, try to bring other aspects into your life so you're not constantly thinking and talking about trading. Uh, this also has to do with who you surround yourself with when it comes to friends and relationships. Uh, so guys, try to expand your, your life a little bit outside of the trading box as I think it's a lot more healthy. If you guys enjoyed watching, give us a like and a subscribe. This was a really fun video for us to make. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Step <laughs> Sorry, I'm serious. Step four. Step number five. Step five. Step number five. Step five. Three. Actual step one. Are we then? Are you sure, Mr. Producer? Yes. <laughs>